Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to demonstrate some techniques using the equation field within the parameter table to add what I think is some pretty significant power to a parametric design by using math functions. So in this example, very simple example, and because it's football season, I'm a huge Packer guy, so probably going to alienate some fans of the YouTube channel there. But uh, here's my simple green and gold table. And I've already got it parameterized. <clears throat> so if we change the length, you'll see that it adjusts. But you could probably see, as I make adjustments, some potential issues if I was going to put any kind of weight in the middle of my table. So what I'd like to do is come up with a way where I can put these legs in uh, exact positions based on what I call structural pattern which is a max on center, meaning it can never be more than that value apart, but it could be a little bit less. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. So first things first, I'm just gonna grab this mirror, move the end of part marker, jump back in here, and then we'll bring this back down to 72. So to do this, I've already knocked out the parameters and I'm just gonna write some simple equations. And you don't have to do it exactly the way that I'm doing this, but I like to do it this method when I'm teaching classes so people can kind of stay organized. So for example, I have spaces, spacing, and the number of pairs of legs. So for the spaces, I know that that's going to be table length, and then I'm going to divide that by the max OC. But really quickly, if you ever see a red text in your formula, it means that there's something wrong. An inventor does this thing called dimensional analysis where the number of spaces is unitless. There's no value to it. Like it's not one inches of spaces, right? This doesn't make any sense. So I have to divide a length unit by another length unit, in this case, max OC. Now it's just going to be the number of spaces. So that's where just a quick note on if you're writing formulas. Now the spacing is gonna be very similar. I'm gonna do the table length, but this time it needs to be inches, so I'm just gonna divide that by spaces. Right, this is all making sense. And then if I have, just this little quick mental exercise, if I have one space, right, I'd have to have two pairs of legs. If I had two spaces, I would need three pairs of legs. So this is why I use spaces, because we know that the number of legs is always going to be spaces plus one. So there we have it, really quick and easy. Now let's test it. You always, always, always want to test it. So I go ahead and hit done. I'll save it quick, and then we'll introduce the pattern. So I'll go kind of quick here. The goal is not to build the pattern, just to show you the power. Let's see, we'll grab the y-axis. This is why we parameterize everything. Do my leg pair quantity. Apparently operating the mouse is not easy for me today. <clears throat> we already have the spacing parameter. And then we hit OK. Then we're like, oh, man. Not wrong. But what we did was we already have a leg inset. So somehow when we get to the end, we have to take that leg size into account and push it back in so it's under the table. Not a big deal, and again, this is why we test. So if I go back to the parameter table, I have to take that into account. Whoops, so accidentally, oh dear. <laughs> don't forget, don't hit escape when you're in the table. <laughs> go ahead and add in that table length minus, and I have a value for this table leg size. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab all that because I'm gonna need it down below. Control C, and you can see, well, that doesn't look very good. <laughs> so we're gonna fix a couple of things here, but we need the same distance here now because we're gonna assume that we're measuring in between. So you're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's awesome, Pete. Uh, it didn't make any difference at all, so what happened? Well, that's because it did exactly what we asked it to do. I took the table length minus that leg size, divided by max OC, but now I've got a different issue. 1.91 blah 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 and that doesn't make any sense can i have 1.9 spaces no you can't do that so this is where and i'm going to put a link in the description this is where we can add in math formulas 
So I'm going to bring up a sheet really quick, and then we'll go ahead and keep going. All right, I just forgot to have this loaded ahead of time, but in the inventor help, you can find all these different types of functions, uh, operators, et cetera, et cetera. So this is very helpful. And the real interesting thing is down here, you can use all sorts of different functions. So what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna be using the ceiling function. And this works a lot in a similar fashion as if you're doing it in Excel, where I'm just gonna always force it to the next integer or whole number. So I'm quickly diving back into Inventor, and like I said, I'll link that in the description. All I have to do is to the front of my equation, type in law lowercase ceiling, you know, seal from ceiling, add the parentheses. You don't have to add the back ones. I just kind of you know about that. And now it forces it to move up to the next level. So you can see that two now pushes the spacing to 34 and a half, and you can see that the leg rests inside. So now you just want to test it out. So try it at different sizes. So if I said 84, you can see that would just push me over. So it has to add in another set of legs, right? So now it's 27. So the goal is it can never be more than my maximum on center spacing. It could be less. But we're doing all of this within the parameter table, nothing to do with iLogic. So that's why I like to demonstrate this in classes and show users that we can totally use the parameter table to accomplish some pretty powerful things before we have to go to iLogic. So I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments below and have a blessed day.